Humanitarian crises are all too familiar to television viewers. Civil wars that cause huge movements of refugees, worldwide pandemics, and natural disasters like earthquakes and tsunamis. This is the way most of us are used to seeing these heart-wrenching events, on a screen in front of us, watching passively. But what if you could step into the frame and actually feel what it's like for the individuals on the ground? People come out of it feeling enlightened and often moved and often ready to take action. A lot of people automatically say, well, what can I do? How can I get involved? Garbo Aurora is leading a team at the United Nations who are using cutting-edge technology to raise awareness, empathy and funds both to respond to humanitarian crises and to bolster support for a new set of sustainable development goals around the globe. Virtual reality is the ability to really take part in a story that usually you're only a passive spectator on. And you actually get the sensation of feeling like you're being there. By using multiple cameras that can record in all directions and software that can stitch the images together, virtual reality creates an experience that enables the viewer to see a movie from every angle above, below, and behind. It's exciting for the UN you know, to be involved in some of those early experiments of how we're trying to tell stories, make these films, and, and work with some of the most cutting edge people in the industry on it. So the UN reached out to us and connected, and we realized that there was a great opportunity here to tell some very important stories and to tell them in a way that we thought uh, would be totally new and, and highly impactful. The way that I define virtual reality at this point in time is basically the hacking of your senses to convince you that you're somewhere other than where you are. Often, I think of it as a sense of vulnerability. So one of the things we've realized in, in some of our stories is you have a heightened sense of empathy and a heightened sense of connection as a result of that vulnerability. That heightened sense of connection and empathy was exactly what Garbo Aurora was looking to create at the World Economic Forum in Davos, Switzerland not only to inspire leaders to take action, but also to influence donors to increase funding for disaster response efforts. I'd started experimenting with using innovative ways of advocacy, and I started talking to a lot of different partners and people. What could we do that would be incredible? And someone said, you know, I just came from a meeting at Samsung and, you know, with some of these other virtual reality headsets. Wouldn't it be amazing if you got all of those elite people who could actually go to a refugee camp or they could go to an Ebola clinic. I just really felt it would get our issues highlighted. In addition to the screenings at Davos, virtual reality portals have been set up to view the films at high-level political forums around the world. The virtual reality film on display was Clouds Over Cedra. Clouds Over Cedra is a short film in virtual reality about a girl named Sidra who lives in Zatari camp, which is a Syrian refugee camp in Jordan. And it is a story about a young girl who is giving you a tour of the camp, of what it's like, what her life is like. When the film debuted in Davos, it was a sensation to everyone we showed it to. They come out of it uh, very deeply moved. Um, I'd say half the people who watch Clouds of Sidra cry. And then we cut a version for UNICEF for its face-to-face -face fundraisers. The way they do that is usually someone with a clipboard on the street in Europe or in different countries. So they thought, well, what if we got people to experience virtual reality on the street? Quite sad. They do have a good environment to stay. We try our best to help them. Early reporting from UNICEF has shown that when using virtual reality, they've doubled the effectiveness of their fundraising efforts. This report was produced by Ben Lybrand for the United Nations.